Over the past few years, the phrase employee experience kind of has become synonymous with the employee life cycle, right? Which takes this really time-based view of significant events across an employee's career. So it's very linear. You hit these certain milestones during the employee life cycle. And looking at an employee experience and employee life cycle in this way can be helpful, but often it can also lead to kind of a one-size-fits-all program or approach that only really captures a few moments in time rather than focusing on an employee's everyday experience and all of the interactions they have with their organization and events at work. So we'll need to shift and change our approach to reflect how employees see their own experiences. In fact, 92% of employees, according to our research, see their employee experience as their everyday experience. So it's their interactions that they're having every day, right? They're not thinking about where they are on the employee life cycle. They're not thinking, okay, right now I'm being onboarded and now I'm gonna be developed and now they're trying to retain me, right? Employees don't think like that. When we go to work, we think of our experience as the personal experience that we have. It's a collection of thousands of daily interactions that we have with people at work, with our leaders and our peers and, and the company, and they're both positive and negative. And it's the aggregation of those thousands of experiences that really add up to the overall employee experience. And it, it forms and shapes their perceptions of what their workplace is like and what their culture is like. So this is a more accurate representation of how employees view their everyday experiences, right? It's They have many throughout the day. Some are positive, some are negative, some are kind of neutral, um, the ones in black. And those positive and negative experiences really stand out and they go a long way in forming our overall employee experiences. Peak experiences, which are those really positive, memorable moments, they last, the impact of those lasts twice as long as negative experiences. And so we really want to focus as organizations on creating those peak memorable experiences for our people. And one of the best ways for leaders to create peak experiences is to recognize people for the work they do and how they uniquely contribute, right? Recognition moments are powerful. They can be memorable peak experiences. Um, and if you do them often, they really add up. But in order to be impactful, recognition has to be integrated into your workplace culture. Um, it has to occur often. It has to happen across the organization. It has to be from peers and leaders and celebrate large and small accomplishments. And most of all, it has to be done in a meaningful way.